Hi guys, this is Pramod here again and today we are gonna learn about how to create the light groups in the air nodes using AL standards, sorry AL surface shader. So why light groups is just simple that if you want more control over the lights you can use this technique and you can add the render individually AOVs, light AOVs in the render setting. So let's get started. Here I have set up the simple scene just plain and fair and I have two lights over here. One red color, another is blue color to just to understand the process. Going to the hyper shade because I didn't assign the AL standard shader to the object. So in the air node if you search for the AL surface. So here is the AL surface shader. First of all, I am assuming that you have AL surface shader installed in your Maya. If it's not, then go to this website AL shader and install the shader from here. Here they mention the step by step process how to download and install. So here I am going to assign the shader to scene. Okay, let's take a quick render over here. Oh, sorry, it's a my software. Let's take it to the add node. So here is the scene. Here we see one red light from the left side and the blue light from the right side. Now, if you see, this is the beauty render, and we are rendering both lights in the same layer. And if you go to the setting in the AOVs and I just select, I just create any AOVs here, diffuse, direct diffuse and direct specular over here and then let me render with the Arnold render window so we can select the layer. So here you see this is the beauty render, this is the direct diffuse, this is the direct specular but we don't have option to render each light separately. But if you see in AL standard, in AI standard we don't have any options for light group. But if you go to AL standard setting, a, sorry, AL surface, you see there are the options light group. So total we have the 8 light group. So that means we can create the 8 number of layers, the separate light layers. And how to do this? how to add this light group inside the light. It's very simple. Let's close this window. Basically, let's go to the outliner. You have to select the light shape, not the transform node. So go to the display and select the shape. So if you see, here there are the two nodes. So one is the transform node and another is the shape. So let's select the light and go to the modify add attribute let's type mota constant light group remember this name is very case sensitive so if you mistake any word it's not gonna be add any attribute or it's gonna be is gonna be it's not gonna be work so here I type the name and set it to the integer and just add it close then go to the light in the extra attribute you see here there is your option they add it in the another light there is no option in the extra attribute now we have just added this attribute Let's go to the render window and create one light group over here, light group AOV. Yeah. Add sorry. Add it here. And let's make you see there is a one over here, so we have total number of eight AOV. Now I will assign first light name here and 
great spirit in the reef this is the beauty tender now if you go to the aovs we have direct diffuse we have direct specular and we have the light group 1 which is we i assign on the red light so you got the separate render for the light so this is very helpful if you have the multiple number of lights in the scene and you wanted to split this light the aovs so you can use this technique and render the separate passes so it will be very flexible in the while comping i hope it will help someone thanks for watching guys